Hello, my name's Dave Morn. I'm a selectman in the town, and with me today is Elma Steamer, the town engineer. We're discussing the warrant articles that will appear on the ballot on March 12th to provide our residents with the information they need to make an educated vote. We're going to discuss warrant article 25, the lease agreement for the South Water Tank. This will be a lease with the Verizon company to put some of their uh, equipment on the water tank and it will provide funding that will go into the water system itself. And I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Deemer to give us the background. Mm -hmm. Where is the South Water Tank located? The, the South Water Tank is um, it's located on the south end of Groves Farm. It's uh, one of our um, three tanks that we own in town. It's a concrete tank. and. Um, it currently sits and um, it basically stores water and uh, provides domestic and fire protection. What is what are we leasing the tank for? So the tank is gonna uh, the, the the area of the tank is gonna be leased for the purpose of um, installing a nine foot antenna on top of it. Uh, that's gonna provide a boosting uh, signal to the Verizon network already in place. Uh, for the ones that live on the south end, probably uh, they know that the signals there is not as strong as it used to be. So this particular area, because it's so high above uh, anything else, is identified as an area that could be ideal for boosting the system. We've had particular uh, other um, vendors come to us in the past, but they have never provided the financial um, incentives that Verizon is. So that's why I was entertained by the Board of Selectmen. So the overall um, value of this contract over 25 years will be about $925,000, which is significant. And all that money goes towards the water utility and it could be used for anything water related. So if anything will help keep the rates the same uh, because it will fund things that we need without having to spend our money. What is the initial term of the lease? The initial term of the lease is five years and then we have four additional uh, extensions uh, if the voters vote in favor of this, we're going to have a 25-year contract, basically, and um, uh, the annual increase, it's 2.25%, and we started at 28,000. Where on the, the water tower will this be located, and how big is it? Uh, this particular uh, booster antenna will be located at the top. It's about 9 feet um, above the top of the tank, and... Um, it will not interfere with any other operations, obviously related to you know what we do out there. But um, yep, it's about nine feet, and it'll be uh, sitting on top of the tank. And there's other antennas out there already. So yes, yes. we currently have an antenna right now that we don't utilize. It's going to come down, and this will be installed on top of it. Yes. Does this project require any funding or maintenance from the town itself? No. Nope. This does not require any funding from us. This does not require any maintenance from us. This is 100% done by a third party. And we, as a town, start getting paid for this the second they build, uh, pull a building permit to do this work. So, so to sum this, this Warren article up, is that we're basically just renting space for, for an antenna and the, the town will receive um, funding due to the lease and the contract, which we can put back into our water system, which again will will help the taxpayers and the residents of town because that money will put in, which would again we won't have to raise the taxes because that is earmarked for that per, for that one department. I would say we wouldn't raise the rates, or it would help with the water rates. Rates, uh, yep. water rates. Okay. Yep. So so. This will help with the water rates, and over, I believe it's the last 20 years, we haven't raised the rates yet. And if you compare us with Litchfield, they're paying over $11. Nashua's right in that general area, and we're paying no, like $3.10. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, so this will be a great thing to keep our residents and, and do the best we possibly can to make sure we keep the costs down. And I want to, would like to thank the residents and taxpayers of Hudson for taking the time to watch these segments. Thank you.